Welcome to Lesson 1, Anatomy of an HTML Page. Hypertext Markup Language, otherwise known as HTML, is the language of the Internet. The web server uses it to communicate the structure of the page to the browser, and it is the language that all browsers use to render pages. HTML defines only the structure of a page. It does not define how a page looks when it is viewed. Cascading style sheets are used to define the styles on a page. You'll learn more about cascading style sheets in Lesson 3. The doctype declaration tells the browser the exact version of HTML the browser should use to render the page. If you do not include the doctype declaration in your HTML, the browser must guess which version of HTML to use, and this can result in some unexpected behaviors. The HTML element is the root element of the document, and as such, it contains all of the other elements. The HTML element contains both a head element and a body element. The head element contains the processing information and metadata for the document. The text within the element is not rendered by the browser. On the other hand, the body element contains the markup that is displayed by the browser. The syntax of an element in HTML is very important. It consists of a start tag, content, and an end tag. In this lesson, you create your first HTML page complete with JavaScript and a little styling. The lesson requirements are Microsoft Visual Studio Web Developer 2010 Express, or actually any edition of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. The hint for this lesson is to add elements to the HTML page by dragging them from the toolbox. To get started with this lesson, select New Website. C-sharp, empty websites from the list of installed templates, verify that file system is selected, and s enter Lesson 1 for the web location. Finally, click the OK button. Click Website, Add New Item, and select the HTML page As you can see, there are quite a few templates to select from. In order to find the HTML page templates, the fastest way to do that is to type HTML in the Search Installed Templates text box. Type HelloWorld.htm for the name of the HTML page and click the Add button. Enter Hello World for the title. Open the toolbox and select the div element by dragging it from the toolbox. Here you can see all of the elements that you can drag, HTML elements that you can drag directly from the toolbox. Add ID for the div tag to a body content. Now add some content to the div element. Add a heading 1. It says, Hello World. At a heading 2, it says welcome. And then some literal text. This is my first web page. And finally, add a horizontal rule along the bottom. Now let's look at this page in Design View. What's nice about Design View is you can actually change some of the HTML markup by using the toolbar. In this case, I'm changing this to a heading 3. And then again, I can change it back. Let's 
go back to source view. Enter the following literal text. Please select a color and drag the select element from the tool box. The idea of this one is going to be select color. The first option is going to be white. And we're going to copy this and make the next options silver and yellow. Now, to add a button, you can also drag it from the toolbox. The name of the button is button select. The value is select. And the value is what the text of the button is going to display. The on click event for the button, and you can see all the events here. Everything from on mouse down and mouse up and key down and on focus. We're going to go be using the on click event and set it to show selection. Now format the document by selecting Format Document from the Edit menu or Control K, Control D. Save the document and view it in the browser. This is our page. As you can see, the title of the page is Hello World. And then our drop down list works. So go ahead and close the browser. Now it's time to add some style to the web page. First, we're going to add a style element. And in the style element, we're going to add one CSS rule. Now normally your rules would be in a separate external cascading style sheet, but for testing purposes and for demonstration purposes, it can be handy to use a style element. In this case, we're sending the H1 element to the color blue. Now if we look at this in design view, you can see that it's already taken effect. Now let's go back to source view. Now let's add the script element to hold the Java script that is going to process the on click event called a show selection. Put in our function, which is a very simple function called show selection. And what it does is it shows a message box using the alert method of JavaScript. And in that message box, it's just going to say, you have selected and with the color that you've selected from the drop-down list. Uh, don't forget to use a single quotation marks in JavaScript. In order to use um, the IntelliSense JavaScript, use the tab key to complete the uh, method. Oh, and now for fun, what we're going to do is change the color of the body of the job of the HTML document to the same color that you've selected from the list. So we're changing the body content style background color to the selected colors value.
save it, and select to view it in the browser. This is the updated page. Now if you select a color, say silver, it says you have selected silver in the message box, and it changes the body of the HTML to the silver color. Same goes for the yellow.